Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us first look at the sum trick. Like in like the example which I had shown just now where uh, you take a, take a number, reverse the digits, add them and then looking at the sum, you can tell whether it is divisible by a particular number or not. So how do we do the sum trick? So let us take any two digit number. So here first we will discuss about the two digit number. So let's take any two digit number. Let's say in general we are considering right now. So it's like 76, 25, 52, 1, 1, 15, 13, 92. These are all two digit numbers. So in general we are considering that we have a two digit number where A and B are the two digits. Now, how can you write AB? So, when you look at this number, B is at the units place and A is at the tens place. So, you can write it like this A into 10 plus B into 1, which is equal to A into 10 would be 10A and B into 1 would be B. So, you can write the number AB as 10A plus B. Now, so our first step was just to think of a number. So, we thought of a number AB. Now, in the second step, we were asked to reverse the digits. Now, what happens when you reverse the digits? AB becomes BA. You just interchange the position of the two digits A and B. So, this becomes B into 10 plus A into 1 because in this case, A is at the units place and B is at the tens place. So, this is equal to 10B plus A. So, BA can be written as 10B plus A. Now, what were, what were we asked in the third step? In the third step, we had to find out the sum of these two digits. So, basically, we needed to add the two digits. That is AB plus BA. So, what is AB? AB is 10A plus B and BA is 10B plus A. Now, if you look at this, 10A plus A, how much would be that? That would be 11A. Similarly, 10B plus b b is 1b so that is 11b so here 11 is a common factor so this can be written as 11 into a plus b so when you look at this factor form what does it show it shows that 11 is an exact divisor right this shows that the sum the sum of these two numbers is equal to 11 into a plus b which means 11 exactly divides the sum similarly a plus b exactly divides the sum so here we are interested only in 11 so looking at this going by this general trick we see that 11 would be a number that will always divide the sum exactly no matter whatever your number is now here we have considered everything in general like a b a b so this a could be any digit b could also be any digit so you can just think of any number and if you follow these steps the result would always be completely divisible by 11 so that is how the trick worked now in a similar way you can also play the a similar trick with the difference of two numbers for example again let us consider any two digit number so let's say that the number that we considered is ab so how can we write ab as we did in the last slide it can be written as 10a plus b now when you reverse the digits then it becomes ba and ba can be written as 10b plus a now instead of adding them what you do you subtract them now when you subtract then it becomes ab minus ba so this can be written as 10a plus b minus 10b plus a so this can be written as 10a plus b minus 10b minus a now all these are how we add and subtract algebraic expressions and we have already discussed them in one of our previous lessons so i'm sure that you are pretty much comfortable with all of these calculations by now so when you look at this same coefficient 10 a and a so 10 a minus 1 a would be 9 a similarly plus 1 b minus 10 b so minus 9 b 
right? Because minus 10 plus 1. So minus 10 is bigger, therefore minus sign and 10 minus 1 is 9. So minus 9b. So here 9 is a common factor. So this would be 9 into a minus b. So when you are trying to play the difference trick at that time, at the last step, you have to tell your friends to divide the sub difference by 9. That's because in this case, 9 is an exact divisor. Right. So if you look at this more uh, deeply, you would see that in any case, in any values of A and B, the difference. So whatever you are getting right now is the difference between the two numbers. The difference will always be divisible by 9. For example, if A is greater than B, in that case, what happens? The difference is divisible by 9. That in that if A is greater than B, that means A minus B is any positive number. Now, let us say if there comes a scenario where A is less than B. So, if A is less than B, in that case, your difference would be 9 into B minus A, which will again be divisible by 9. Now, in case you come across a situation where A and B are same, that is A is equal to B. For example, if you choose a number like 33 or 22 or 11. So in that case, both the digits are the same. So A and B are same. So in that case, what will happen? In that case, your difference will be equal to 0. Now, since difference is equal to 0, again, if you divide 0 by 9, what would be the remainder? There would be no remainder. So the remainder is 0 at that time also. So we see that this general trick applies for any two values of a and b doesn't matter whether a is greater than b or b is greater than a or a and b are equal so this trick is applicable to all of them thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you